Um, Idi Kabasa comes out to narrate um, horrible experience. He says the police officer slapped him. Now, from what he narrated, he was in a, I, say, I think he said Uber, Uber. right? Yeah. And his um, Uber driver was being intimidated by a guy driving a range, right? And <sighs> now, I, I, I think this, is not, this story is not just about the policeman now. It's about how we also treat ourselves oh, as human beings. Because mm. if from, I mean, this is a one-sided story anyway, but if from what he's saying, you're at fault. Why would you want to intimidate this guy? Because you feel you have the money or you have the power, or you have a bigger car, and then you call the police people. And the police are supposed to be your friend, right? They're supposed to come and say, okay, oh, guy, you cannot do this to this. You're right, you're not right. Now decides to intimidate the Uber guy because, I don't know, because whatever it is, but mm. it's just a sad story. And at least he received one slap before they realized that he's ID Kabasa or something. <laughs> it's not a palatable story. Mm. Oh, well, go ahead. Okay. Um, I mean, I don't know what to say because we, we always talk about police brutality mm -hmm. on this table. And to be honest, I'm even tired. It's like we we'll ju we just keep talking and nothing's even happening. If it's just every day we keep hearing different stories and nothing is just happening, nobody's saying anything, nobody's addressing the issue. And I feel like when celebrities start getting the share of the cake mm -hmm. too, like one one slap every day from different celebrities, they will come out and now they will know that it's not just about the poor. Now it's affecting everybody. We are all caught in this and we're all stuck in it so if we all don't come together and raise our voice against police brutality it's going to touch everybody even from the poor to the rich and it's already happening so i think again the police first force needs to come and answer this and do something about it i mean you can't be kept in a place to protect he said the policeman was supposed to be protecting maybe a lounge or something like that and you're now being used against civilians that you're supposed to protect it's very bad and i think something needs to be done in immediately even five five slaps for each celebrity daily will not change anything you want to know why because um until the police and um the force reformation is actually put in place where you actually employ people that are actually qualified to be police officers mm. that you check their mental health status train them you properly check that you check their um, emotional health status because some of them are not just acting out of the fact that they're carrying on some of them are mentally imbalanced like id kabasa pointed out some of them do not even have the mental capacity to carry a gun some of them are troubled by financial issues by um matrimonial issues by having kids by having that by so a background check to everybody you are putting in the police force is what is actually necessary now we have a lot of um ssc holders that are police officers we have a lot of gc holders that are police officers we have a lot of secondary school um certificate holders that are police officers we don't even have the qualified people some of those police officers for all you care did not even go to the police academy but they're police officers because they need a job lack of um, manpower everybody employs anyone and everyone that comes to seek for a job we need more police officers you just sign papers you just say oh they do one week training and then you put somebody in power you give them a gun you give them a right to do this you give them a right to do that so i think proper reformation proper training is what we should be advocating for and not even um saying that celebrities should be slapped because no matter no, 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 how no, 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 no,
well, I'm sure that the right authority, by the time we put them on their toes, the right thing will be done. I'm not saying that don't train the police or don't do this, don't do that. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that if everybody can come together and I have one voice, one voice against mm. this thing, it will work out. Because if we don't push our authorities to do what is right, you think they don't know that all these police are supposed to go to school or they're supposed to do this. They, they know what is right. It's just that they are not doing it. That mm. If we don't put them on their toes, nothing will be done. Okay, so um, I guess I get where you're coming from. But for me, I don't even think it's a case of um, being a secondary school holder or a GSE holder. I mean, what is the certificate of our president and what were we dragging for? In the law, you don't even need to be a BSc holder to be a president of Nigeria. All you require is to at least have gone to secondary school and mm. passed, right? So I think from what he said, it's a case of really reforming the police academy when they get into the academy because i really don't want to believe that anybody goes into the police force without going through the academy and the question now is how do you train these people what kind of training do they undergo what kind of environments do they do you put them into training them what have you told them their job is and when you told them this is their job did they understand the capacity and the responsibility that falls on their shoulders as um members of the police force you know so i think it's 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 a very dicey case and um Yes, um, the influence the celebrities have cannot be underestimated. So if there is any issue, and we have, even if it's just five of them, mm -hmm. come together to say we are marching forward, we need a reformation in this segment, they would be listened to because they, they have that level of influence. And you're so, not following on the issue of reformation because if you're following on the issue of reformation, you would know that a lot of celebrities have been out for reformation of the police force and yet nothing has been done so now it's not about calling out the problem that's like stating the obvious now what should be done no what should... i'm not saying yeah. nobody has said anything it's still a case of okay look at what happened with show around the revolution unfortunately it did not go on but there need to be a unity in that calling out now I wake up tomorrow, I, I'm not calling anybody's name because they've done anything, I'm just making an example. Mm -hmm. So I wake up tomorrow, I'm a two-faced, I put out something, people talk about it, it's gone. And then the next four weeks, a Paul Okoye puts out something, I'll talk about it, and it's gone. And then the next five weeks, like, if we can come together with one and voice to say this is what we want done, I think it will be more effective. I'm not saying these people I mentioned now must do it, but I'm hoping that we get to that point where I'm we have people that can I'm going to make reference to that, um, thing. when a lot of celebrities, when Kolade died, a lot of celebrities put their voice together. At the same time, it wasn't four weeks later, it wasn't a week later, it wasn't two days later. At the same time, a lot of celebrities called for the reformation of SARS and the police force and forces in general. General. Mm -hmm. Was anything done? What they but were calling for is for justice for Kola. Kola justice not, was done. Yes. What when you're talking about justice? <laughs> justice, justice, justice was done. Don't get it okay, twisted. Okay, so what justice was done? Please explain oh, to me. You probably okay, now you need to go, go back you and, and check the story. The case. 